Less than a month ago, Milo Yiannopoulos, a right-wing extremist and online persona, came to speak at UC Berkeley and was met with both violent and nonviolent protests. Yesterday, NPR reported that Yiannopoulos has resigned from his position at Breitbart after social media outrage resulting from comments he made that appeared to condone pedophilia and disregard sexual consent. Today, I'm talking to Cal students about their opinions on his resignation. I'm Chase Salisbury, and this is Cal TV News. I was wondering how this makes you feel and what the first reaction you had to this news was. Honestly, I found it actually pretty hilarious. Right. I looked at the comments like last night, I saw the video clips, and I can kind of see a little bit of the nuances in which people were defending him for, but in actuality, I just don't think it was defen like defensible like at all. Okay. Hey guys, so we are here to talk about Milo Yiannopoulos' resignation. I wanted to ask you guys how you first found out about the fact that he had resigned. Through Facebook mainly, I'm not super up to date with like news on like news like channels and websites. So Facebook is like my main source of information. And for you? Um, I also found through Facebook. And what was your initial reaction to finding out that he had resigned over these comments? Um, honestly, I thought it was very fair and justified that he resigned. I think that we shouldn't have a person who's a public figure uh, who has who is saying things like that in any capacity. So I think it was I was pretty satisfied with seeing that. Hi, my name is Brandon West. I'm the external vice president of Berkeley College Republicans. What was your initial reaction to these comments? Um, not surprised. I kind of anticipated that this guy's past would catch up to him. I knew that in the past his message was quite different than what it is today. And, um, you know, like he himself said, like he was just spitballing and he has a habit of doing that. And, um, yeah, I'm not too surprised, yeah. Why do you feel these comments were what pushed people over the edge to ask for his resignation? I don't believe people were asking for his resignation. Actually, that's possible. But I think um, people's actual opinions weren't too changed. But I think it's really up to the media, especially the mainstream media and the liberal media, to choose when someone crosses the line. It's a pretty arbitrary thing. All of a sudden, it was a concerted effort to really just try to take this guy down. So I don't think it was some sort of natural disgust that people had all of a sudden, but it was definitely artificially induced by the media. Yeah. How would you feel about him coming back to campus? Is that something that your group would support and try to organize? Uh, most likely not. The reaction was so vitriolic from the left and the leftists and Antifa. I don't think we want to put our school through that again. Um, contrary to what you know, um, false outlets like the Daily Cal have reported on us, we did not invite this guy back. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us and show us your opinions and represent the Berkeley College Republicans. We really appreciate it.